Is reactive hypoglycemia dangerous? If you find this information helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who may benefit. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on diabetes management. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel, where we discuss everything about diabetes, its management, and overall health. I am your host, a diabetes expert, and today we will be discussing a topic that many of you have asked about. Reactive hypoglycemia, and whether it is dangerous or not. As always, please remember that the information provided in this video is meant to create awareness and should not be used as medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized medical advice. Understanding Reactive Hypoglycemia So, let's start by understanding what reactive hypoglycemia is. It is a condition where your blood sugar drops to abnormally low levels, usually a few hours after a meal. Symptoms can include sweating, rapid heart rate, dizziness, and even fainting. It's important to note that while hypoglycemia is commonly associated with diabetes, reactive hypoglycemia is different. It primarily affects people who do not have diabetes. Causes and Triggers The exact cause of reactive hypoglycemia remains unclear. It's believed that the condition may result from the body producing too much insulin after a meal. Certain types of gastric surgeries, such as gastric bypass, can also lead to this condition. As the food moves too quickly through the stomach and intestines, it can cause a spike in insulin, leading to a rapid drop in blood sugar levels. Is reactive hypoglycemia dangerous? Now, let's address the main question, is reactive hypoglycemia dangerous? Well, if not managed properly, it can indeed be harmful. The body needs a stable level of glucose to function properly. When the blood sugar level drops significantly, it can affect various body functions and make you feel unwell. In severe cases, hypoglycemia can lead to seizures, loss of consciousness, or even go into coma. Managing Reactive Hypoglycemia But don't be alarmed. Reactive hypoglycemia can be managed effectively with the right diet and lifestyle changes. Eating smaller, frequent meals throughout the day, rather than three large meals, can help maintain stable blood sugar levels. Include more protein, fiber, and healthy fats in your diet, and reduce the intake of refined sugars and carbohydrates. Importance of medical consultation. However, it's crucial to consult your healthcare provider if you suspect you have reactive hypoglycemia. They can provide you with a proper diagnosis by performing blood tests and reviewing your symptoms and medical history. If diagnosed, your healthcare provider can work with you to create a treatment plan that best suits your needs. So, while reactive hypoglycemia can indeed be dangerous if left uncontrolled, it's important to remember that it can be effectively managed with the right approach. Listen to your body, understand your symptoms, and don't hesitate to seek medical help when needed. If you found this information useful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please drop a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos about diabetes and related health issues. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to managing your health. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy!